Hey everyone, so I got another deck profile for you today. Today it's Rain Ursatovis. Uh, Ursatovis, new spirit that we got, and I actually think it's the best one out of the bunch. And we're pairing it with Rain. Now, we are utilizing a very large Blazewalker package, but we're also pairing it with Dragons, because both of them got very good support in Ascension. And I still think Rain is the better option to run with Dragons than Dragonhold. Sadly, but... It's still not his time yet. Uh, Rain does a lot of good things. It deals with some of the pesky uh, guardians that you'll see early on from blue. And then also, uh, it lets you recycle things and also rip some pretty big dragons off the top of your deck with the unit Rain and get in there for, for some cheap early tower kills. So that's why we're utilizing Rain. And then Ursa Tovis boosts up all your little weenie dragons by Soul Bursting, and now you can utilize Ruka to flip this back over and give them even more boosts and do it uh, multiple turns in a row. So just a whole lot of really good synergy between these two, and let's just get into the cards. So first we'll go over the dragon package. The first one that I'm running is three deranged dragon. It's still a good one drop dragon. Uh, I know that being able to, having to attack can be a downside sometimes, but overall just having that one cost 1,000 power uh, feeds into what we're trying to do, which is win by turn four or five. We're obviously running the three juvenile. This is probably your best one drop for sure. Having that quickness is very easy uh, to get. And then also with the new spirit, this thing can be 2,000 extremely quick. So this guy is going to be your finisher for sure. We're also running three Glittering Whelp. This card got a whole lot better because of Omegas. Uh, that early game getting you additional draws to swarm the field, and then later in the game being able to plop uh, some kind of Omega unit on top of it, whether it be Dragonhold or the Elemental, uh, it's very good. Also, the Omega Arc is a nice option for this card as well. But being able to net that draw, very nice. Uh, and then also it can get boosted up to 1500 with the new spirit. So we're also running three Scarlet Egg. This card got a whole lot better uh, because we also got Glow Shard Dragon. Now Glow Shard Dragon, even if we didn't get anything else in this set for dragons, this card probably would have made dragons uh, competitive. So Scarlet Egg used to only be used to bring out Juvenile Dragon, but now it has this target as well. So that's very nice. That's why we're running three Scarlet Egg. Now, Glow Shard, very nice for a couple of reasons. One, it obviously protects all of your dragons from uh, spells or abilities. And if there's two on the field, it creates a, a sort of soft lock. And then also you can pay two uh, to expel it and, you know, have it target a dragon and have it non be non-targeted by spells or abilities that turn. Uh this is also one of the reasons why we're utilizing the Blazewalker package is because you can recycle this. Uh, even if it gets expelled, you can bring it back to your hand with the new Omega arc. And then uh, also you can shuffle it back into the deck with Leah if you want to uh, bring it out again with Scarlet Egg. So we are running a uh, two row Wyvern Rider. This is a very nice quickness unit. And then also on top of that, uh, the four cost allows you to bring it to the field for free with the unit rain, and it can also get destroyer because of the spirit. So a lot of synergy with Roa Wyvern Rider in this deck. We are playing the one Dragon Holt the Bold. It is nice to have that clearing ability, uh, especially against blue sometimes. And also, if you don't have a Glow Shard Dragon, uh, his ability to have your dragons not be targeted by spells does come in handy. So. Running him as a one of, I think, is okay. He's definitely lackluster in comparison to Glow Shard, but he's still a decent four drop unit that can be cheated out with rain. And then also uh, just getting those additional benefits of being able to blow up uh, or, or deal a thousand dollar units your opponent controls is nice, as well as the untargetability of the rest of your dragons. And then lastly, for the dragons, obviously, we're running Big Daddy Dragon Holt. This card's nuts. Uh, if you can get it out on turn five. With a glow shard on the field, it's pretty much game. But uh, yeah, so we're obviously running this. It's a win condition. So for the Blazewalker package, we are running the three Entreat the Blazewalkers. 
Uh, turn one, sometimes you will want to entreat for the rain unit uh, to try and sneak something off the top, something big to possibly go turn two destroyer with your Dragon Holt the Bold or your Roa Wyvern Rider. You never know. Uh, so we do run that. And then also to be able to cheat out uh, the Omega arc is nuts. The fact that this card can do that is enough reason to run it. And then also uh, being able to burn. It's just extremely high utility card. This card's fantastic. We're all also running three of the baby arc. Being able to deal up to 3k with just your champion is very nice. Uh, being able to deal the 1000 just from arc alone comes in handy a lot too, especially for some of the weenie units running around out there. Uh, arc's very good right now in my opinion. So next up, uh, we got three Leah. Still very good as your recycler. Even hitting these off the top with uh, the unit rain's ability is nice because you can play your Omega arc on top of it for one. Uh, the recycling is still very good, but you do need to be careful with it because you do want things banished to bring back directly to your hand with Omega arc. So uh, still very good, but you just need to be a little more careful with her ability nowadays. We are also running three of the new uh, Omega Blazewalker, uh, Arc the Soaring Blazewalker. Basically, he costs two less if you put it on top of a Blazewalker unit, or it costs three uh, if you put it on any fire unit. But then you can take a unit underneath it and then add two uh, target fire units from your expelled zone and add them directly to your hand. So this is very nice for looping uh, the rain unit and then also uh, your Arcs or your Leas. Also getting back your Expelled Glow Shards. This card is nuts. I actually think this card is better than Dragon Holt. Uh, but I'm sure some people will agree or disagree with me there. But this card is insane. The fact that you can also bring it out with Entreat the Blazewalkers is pretty nuts. And I mean, tutor it to your hand, not play it directly. But uh, yeah, tutor it directly from your hand. So uh, three of those for sure. And then uh, the, <laughs> sorry, the one... Uh, rain, this card got so much better now. Uh, being able to hit Glow Shard is nuts, or Scarlet Egg is nuts, even a Glittering Whelp. Sometimes it's nice to get the additional draw, any of your Blaze Walkers to make your arc cost one. Like, this card got so much better. Whenever it was first announced, people were like, wow, that card's lackluster, but now it's amazing. So definitely uh, trying to loop this as much as you can with the new Omega unit. As far as non-dragon cards, we are running three Ruka. Uh, this card is now amazing. It was very uh, subpar before this, but Ursa Tovis gave it a whole new life as well as some additional uh, support to red in general. But being able to bring this out, uh, you know, in the mid game to swing over a, a decent defender and boost all of your stuff by a thousand, possibly even two by doing a double soul burst is amazing. So. Uh, I'm loving that I can finally play Ruka. I think this card is fantastic now, especially in this meta. We're also running the one Voidfire Elemental. It's a nice uh, pseudo board clear. You know, whenever your uh, opponent is trying to uh, wall up with mini, mini guardians like Phantasmal Guards and things like that. So uh, it's nice to clear fields like that to get... Uh, clean pokes in with your with your baby dragons. And then we are running the one Dragonic Eruption. It's uh, The reason I'm playing it is because the fact that you can hit a tower. Uh, you do a lot of scouting with your Glittering Whelp, so by turn four, uh, there's a high possibility you're going to have four more dragons, so being able to take out a tower that you scouted uh, with your Whelp with is very nice, and then also being a pseudo board clear, similar to Voidfire Elemental, is... The reason why we're playing the one of and then last but not least we are playing the three bone scavenger uh, it's very nice against what i think the meta will be i think it's funny how i've been saying the meta this entire time but no one knows what the meta is and we don't even have a meta because of the coronavirus but uh, once things eventually go back to normal what i think the meta will be uh, involves needing Bone Scavenger. And then also it plays well with your Blazewalkers if they were to get sent to the discard zone. Uh, you can Bone Scavenger uh, to expel them to get their effects. So dual purpose. So for shards, we're running the six basic. 
We are running three Wyvern Crystals because uh, our spirit is red and this card is now nuts. <laughs> so being able to get back uh, Glow Shard Dragon is nuts. Uh, Scarlet Eggs, Juvenile Dragons, like this card's fantastic. Uh, Zephyr Crystal was by far the best special shard. And then uh, the blue one, I forget what Cryptic was, was very good. This one is now competing with Zephyr Crystal, in my opinion, just because the targets that I can get back are just so good now. Uh, but yeah, so we're running three of those and then uh, the one Corona. And then we're running uh, our, our five standard towers. So nothing changing there. But that's all I got for you guys. Uh, I think dragons are extremely scary. They're a very, very good aggro deck that does not need Reprobloom. Glow Shard Dragon dex definitely takes them over the top. And then you have the, the bombs with like Dragon Holt and then the new Omega Arc. So I think they're really fun to play. I really like playing them. Uh, being able to Soul Burst a lot because of Ruka is fantastic. And then just Looping Rain. I just, I've been having so much fun with this deck. Uh, and I'm glad Dragons got support and also, Blaze Walker's got additional stuff too, which never hurts. So, that's my list, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Zeppelin out.